Hey everyone, this week I'm going to show you how to make this hologram effect live in OBS. If you strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you could ever imagine. You don't want to miss it. So what we're going to do today is show you how to replicate that effect in OBS. It is live in OBS as you're streaming. There is no post-production here, there is no DaVinci Resolve, After Effects or anything of that matter. Everything is done inside OBS live whilst you're streaming. To do this, we're going to use four different plugins all within OBS. So the first one we're going to use is Advanced Mask by Finite Singularity. The second one is also by Finite Singularity and it's called the Stroke Glow Shadow. The third one is the OBS Shader Filter by Exeldro, which let's face it, you should have installed in OBS if you're going to do any sort of effects within OBS. And the last one is a VST plugin for the audio. And the one I'm using for doing this effect is the Valhalla Supermassive. Everything will be linked down below. So go ahead, get them, download them and install them into your OBS. Pause the video and come back here and I'll show you the next steps. Right, so hopefully you've been and installed those plugins correctly into OBS and you can see them all for us to use in a minute. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create the hollow disk from the bit at the bottom where the hologram projects up from. You can go as big or as small as you want to go. You can make it more true to Star Wars if that's what you want to do. You do whatever you want to do and whatever works well for you. So in my case, all I did was just have a little hollow disk which you can see below me. Is a nice simple hollow disk. So now we need to create the hologram light that comes up from the disk and then projects onto me myself. For this, all I did was go into Photoshop and create a PNG transparent background, which basically just had a triangle of blue light with soft edges. That was it. Nice and simple. And this is how it looks. So as you can see, it is just a green triangle with some faded edges on it. That's pretty much all there is to do at this point. It's the wrong colour and everything, but don't worry. It will look exactly like we did in the intro, so don't worry. Right. First of all, we need to go into the filters. So I have a couple of filters that we have added into this already. So we need to add in the advanced mask filter. If you don't know how to add, add in a, a filter into it, all you do is click the little plus at the bottom, select from wherever you're going to go. So in this case, we've selected advanced mask. And then you just set the settings that we've got. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and show you the settings that I've got on the screen here. So we've got advanced mask and all this is going to do is fade the top part of the screen. That's all it's going to do. So it's going to blend the blue instead of it being such a harsh line that you can see there. It is going to blend in. So just, just to make it a little softer. So advanced mask and here are the settings that I've got. So the width at 402, position 466 and the rotation obviously 90 degrees. That's it. We've got it set for Alpha Mask, and we've got it set for Gradient. Other than that, it's done. Forget about it. Leave it on. So the next thing we've got to do is correct the colour. As you can see, it's a bit too green for what the, what the disc looks like and what the After Effects is going to be. So I need to change it slightly to more of a blue colour. So all I did was add another one, which was Colour Correction. If I switch it on, you'll see how the effect is. And if I go to it, there's all the settings that I've got. All I did was choose the same colour that I wanted it to be and then have a little bit of a tweak with the settings as well. And that gives you similar to what you see below. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add in some little scan lines and some other effects to make it look more like it's moving and it looks like a hologram because right now it's just a static blue color, which let's face it, doesn't look very impressive. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the shader filter um, plugin by Exeldro. So if you want to use this one, if you haven't used it yet, so what we do is we click the plus and at the bottom here, it says user defined shader. So we're going to click on that. And then we're going to use load shader from text file. And then we click browse. Now this will take you to the shader filter example section. Um, and we then scroll down. So the one that we're going to look for, so this is for the scan lines. You can see there are hundreds of effects in here. And as I say, it should be something you should have in OBS anyway. So if we scroll down, we're going to look for scan lines. So all you do is you click on scan line, open it up, and you can see on the screen there, it's done It's done something. And then you can sit in there and you can tweak the settings. You can, you know, you can make it move. You can animate it. You can do all sorts of things. So what we're going to do is I'm going to remove the settings from this one here, and I'm going to switch on the one that I've already got set. Doesn't look like anything fancy on the screen here, 
but on the OBS it will start to show a bit better. So if I click on that, these are the settings I've got. So I've got it animated, that's the speed I want it to move at, that's the angle I've got it at as well. You can shift it, you can boost it, you can add them all in. Pause the video again if you want to copy the settings to get what I've got going. The next one is going to be using shader filter again. This time it's pulse. Now I haven't changed the name up here for some reason, but it is the pulsing one that you're going to use. So again, you go in here, you click, there it is there, pulse effect. So when I click on it, all that's going to do is just make it pulse. To make it look like it's a digital thing, it's glowing, it's just to make it have a bit of movement. So again, here are the settings. I'm using the effect file, I'm using the shader file, and then that's the settings that I've got at the bottom. Right, so what we've done now is we've created the hollow disk at the bottom. We've then created the light that comes from the hollow disk up to me, which is fine. So it looks below me here, it looks nice, it looks like a hologram, it's pulsing, it's strobing, it's doing all the things. But then me, I'm, I'm just a dude sitting on top of a hologram now. So we need to fix that. So we need to add some extra filters into this to make it look more like you were expecting it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to your camera source again. We're going to click and go into filters. And here's me. So the first one we're going to add in is the glow effect. Now this is from the stroke glow shadow effect from Finite Singularity. So again, we just click on that. And you'll see it there, so you've either got the glow effect, you've got the shadow effect if you want to do a drop shadow on yourself, or you've got the stroke effect if you want to put a line all the way around yourself. The one we're going to use is the glow effect, okay? So the one I've used, give you an idea there, gives you a nice glow round about me. I've chose white, that will become apparent in a minute. So right now it just looks like me with a nice glow around me. Brilliant. There's the settings that I've got, so we've set it on outer glow, we've got it set on dual, and then there's the size and the intensity and the color that I've chose. Fine. The next thing that we need to do is let's add some scan lines to make it look more like the holograms that we're used to seeing. So this time we're going to go back into the effects from Exeldro, which is the shader filters. And we're going to add the scan lines in like we did before. But this time it's going to look like this, which looks a bit weird. I get it. Here's the settings that I've got. So I've got it animated, it is moving, and the angle is 90, it's a flat 90. The next step, we're going to add in a spotlight shader, again from the shader filters from Exeldro. If I click on that one, and show you the effects on there. Again, pause the video if you need to copy the effects. So what that's done is, it's now to put a spotlight which is moving, so it basically looks like clouds behind the scenes, and you can sort of see it gives a bit of a flicker effect. I've also been able to choose the colour that I want me to be, so it overlays this colour on me and it just gives a bit of movement. It starts to look more like what we expected to do, okay? So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add in a little color correction because although it looks like a hologram, it could be better. So let's have a little play. So if we go into color correction, now I've changed the gamma, the contrast, the brightness, the saturation, the hue shift, and the opacity. So it is becoming to look a bit more see-through and I get that, it's looking good. We've also chose a different color of blue, it just fine-tunes it slightly, looks more glowy in my face and stuff, makes me look like I'm more of a hologram. And the last one we've got, so you'll see at the bottom here, right, there's a hard line. It doesn't give the effect that we're coming from the disc, does it? You can see the edge of my camera, it looks rubbish. So we need to go into the advanced mask, which is from Finite Singularity, same as we did when we were creating the, the disc glow at the bottom, just to sort of fade and taper into it. So we're going to add in another advanced mask. I'm going to switch it on. You'll see it gives a more soft edge. Now we can play with the settings on this. I've done it for an alpha mask, gradient again. There's my settings on the screen. But you can see as I start to play around with the settings. So if I switch it off altogether and I move it, I can make that, that fade a lot more gradual until it meets up with, with that one there. That looks okay. That looks good. I like it. So the rotation set on minus 90 because you need it to be horizontal. Um, but yeah, I think you'll agree we've managed to make a pretty believable hologram effect live in OBS. There is no external filters or any external sources from this. It's all done within OBS live on your stream. But to make it more believable, we should add an audio filter or in this case, a VST plugin. So what we're going to do is you've already got it installed. It was the ones that we did earlier on. So if we go up to your microphone, right click and go to filters, add the plus at the bottom, 
and go to VST plugin. And if you select Valhalla Supermassive from the selection box, and I'm going to show you the settings that I've got. So if you want to pause the video again, pause the video and set the settings that you see on screen here to the ones that you've got in your OBS. And that will give you this effect. So now you should be hearing me as a hologram with the correct audio and everything. If you do and you've enjoyed the video and it's been of any use to you whatsoever, please do consider giving it a like, subscribing and join us for the next one. I appreciate you being here and thanks for watching.